Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back for the episode of Pokemon Platinum. In our previous episode, we saved the three Pokemon of the lake, and we made it here to Mount Coronet. So in today's episode, I'm going to make my way all the way up to the very tip top of this mountain, and hopefully meet up with Cyrus and stop him before he does anything stupid. Because we all know Cyrus is a psychopath, and he'll do anything just to get his perfect little world. Uh, let me check these rocks quickly to see if there's anything here. We found some Stardust. Ooh, it's not like that'll come in handy, but oh well. We're gonna be finding a bunch of, sh like, crappy items. So, I mean, some of them might prove to be useful to us, some won't. Uh, it doesn't really matter, as long as they're items, you know? Something we could sell for money, and then use that money to buy other things. Because that's how you, uh... That's what, that's what I like to call a win-win situation, you know? You find free shit, you get that stuff, and you sell it. And you make money off of something that you never actually paid for. And yeah, it's pretty much making free money. So, let's move this. I think this is the correct pathway. Honestly, I don't even know because it's been forever since I've played Platinum. And I have no clue where to go to. So, I'm just going to kind of look around everywhere here just to see and follow this path. We found a blue shard. Wow, they hid that blue shard like it was a freaking master ball. But no, it wasn't. So, um, I, I think a Repel has worn out. I'm gonna try to run into a wild Pokemon just to catch something, because a lot of you guys have been nagging on me for the for the past few episodes to catch some. Ooh, Spirit Tomb. This is actually a really good Pokemon. It's a Ghost and Dark type Pokemon, and it's 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 a Pokemon that is used by the champion of this game. I'm not gonna spoil it for those of you guys who've never played Platinum, who the champion is, but it's used by the champion, which is awesome. So I'm gonna catch this because it'll prove to be useful on our team. And it's level 36, which is surprisingly weird. Uh, you don't... I don't know, it's it's kind of weird. We're probably a little too under-leveled then if we're finding level 36 Pokemon here. Maybe it's normal because we're close to Victory Road or something, I don't even know. But we're gonna catch this. Shockwave didn't do that much on it, which is good because I can attack it twice with Shockwave. Hopefully the hail doesn't kill it if Shockwave does a little more damage this time around. Uh, I could also use Dragonite and paralyze it, but I don't know if that'll be good because I'll need to weaken it a little more too. Oh, I just forgot. I completely forgot Jolteon had Quick Attack. Quick Attack really won't kill it. But I think we're good. Uh, one more Hail Attack on this and it'll drop down to like almost nothing uh, in HP. So I'll go ahead and catch it once it, that happens. Because I have the feeling that I won't die. Yeah, see, I told you it's not going to die. So we can't switch out to Dragonite and paralyze it because then it'll die from Hail just in case, you know, because there's, there's a couple turns there. Uh, and I don't want to risk using a Pokeball just because, I mean, what if the Pokeball doesn't catch it, you know? And we lost Spirit Tomb for good because the hill will eventually kill it. So Ultra Ball it is, and Shazam, we finally did it. Now that, that was really easy. <laughs> I'm going to try to catch another Pokemon too, uh, if it's like today. Um, yeah, let's see. This is a Ghost and Dark type Pokemon. Awesome. This is, this is awesome to have on our team. Can't wait to use this. Okay, now to come up with a nickname. Um, let's call you... Spirit. I don't know if it will fit. Where are you, T Spirit? Yeah, it'll fit, it'll fit. Um, let me just do that. Lower. I'm gonna call it Spirit Bomb. Because I'm so unoriginal, and I can't come up with anything. That's like, the worst thing to do in the game is trying to come up with nicknames for Pokemans. Uh, let's use... let's just heal up my Ryujin. You know, honestly, I, I don't really see the purpose of using, um, or of catching Pokemon now, because I already have an assembled team, but since a lot of you guys have been, like, nagging on me to catch Pokemon, I'm just gonna try to catch a couple today. Because, like, this area, I know it, we're completely clean from it. We haven't seen any Pokemon in this area. And most of the Pokemon that I guarantee you are randomized in this area are Pokemon we've never ran into in the wild, which is good. So that means, uh, we always have a chance at catching new things. Who knows? We might run into something that I really like. Something that I'd like to use on my team. Plus, like, these Pokemon here, they're pretty strong. They are, they are pretty high-leveled. Alright, looks like I'm gonna fight some Team Galactic members, unless I can... Wow, okay, I did not even know that we could do that. Alright, buddy, yeah, just look that way. Ah, oh, fudge you, you dumbass. He's like instantly looked. Here's an interesting fact. You know that Stunky that we just killed? 
well, uh, back in Eternus City when we first started uh, the Platinum Let's Play, when we had to go to Eternus City to uh, stop like Team Galactic at first, when we didn't really know who they were, uh, Professor Juniper had a skunk tank evolvation of a Stunky at level 20, which is really weird because Stunky doesn't evolve into skunk tank until level 20 or 34. So I just thought it was interesting and I thought I'd point that out. Damn, it looks like all of these Team Galactic grunts carry with them Golbats. Thank God for Jolteon. Aw, oh, man. That, that's why I love Jolteon. He's my favorite Eevee evolution, man. Here's another fun fact. Did you guys know that in uh, that every Eevee evolution has been used by or owned by a main or reoccurring Pokemon character in the anime except for Jolteon? Jolteon was never used by anyone in the anime. Which is surprisingly weird because he's one of the best evolutions out there. To be honest, I, I, at least that's in my opinion. I I I love Jolteon the most. And then I I would say like um, Vaporeon's really good. Umbreon and Espeon are really good. I think this is the right way. Let's talk to this guy. Yeah, right. You're absolutely right. I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay attention to a low grunt like me without any Pokemon, huh? So he doesn't want to fight. What's what is behind this? There's something behind this cave, huh? Okay, apparently this is not the right area. Then we are. Definitely in the wrong place. Let's just go ahead and exit then this cave. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm not gonna use a repel. I'm just gonna see what Pokemon I run into, like we just did. Let's see what it is. It is, ooh, a Metacham. Yeah, this this would be really good to catch. It's almost level 42, so it's like up there with our levels, with my level of Pokemon. So we're gonna go ahead and catch this. It's a, is it a female? Is it? A, it pretty sure it is. No, it's a male. God, why does it look so fruity, man? Attack missed. Haha. <laughs> oh no! Oh, thank the Lord, man. All right, it's gonna crash probably before I even have the chance to catch this. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw you. I'm gonna go ahead and catch you with a freaking Pokeball. That's what I does, man. Let's do this. Can we catch it? Oh God, no! It's not gonna work. Yeah, they're really high leveled. Oh, uh, call my. Oh, this this would be really good to have because. We could teach it like some uh, dark and psychic type moves. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use an Ultra Ball. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, we got rid of the whole using Pokeball thing because uh, with the, with this randomizer Nuzlocke challenge, they make the the catch rate lower than usual. So if you're trying to catch a Pokemon like at level 40, um, it's gonna be first of all the catch rate is gonna be pretty low for it, and then. While playing this game, the randomizer Nuzlocke challenge, the catch rate's gonna be even lower, so... I mean, something you could catch with the Pokeball in the original, you probably can't catch it with a Pokeball in the randomizer Nuzlocke challenge. So, um... Let, let's go ahead and call this thing... Um... It got Big Lips, so I'm gonna call it Big Lips. Big Lips, cause I'm... I, I, I can't, I can't really think of any nicknames, man. It has... It, it does have some pretty big lips, though. It's They're abnormally big, so... Big lips. Oops. There we go. Sounds like a rapper's name. Yo, what up? Is your boy Big Lips up in this bitch? <laughs> oh, man. That's a little racist, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Let's exit this cave. Got two Pokemon today, so you guys could shut up about that. We'll probably try to catch another one if we run into an, a different area. Technically... Well, technically, this is Mount Coronet, but there's little caves and sections of Mount Coronet. So, what I've decided to do is just catch Pokemon that are outside of Mount... Oh, my God, a muck. I'd love to catch you, muck, but, you know, I've already used up all my catches up in this in this place. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to save you for a latter time. Actually, we can't even catch you because we ran into you. That's also one of the rules. And that's probably why I haven't been catching Pokemon, too. Because you run into one... And if you see it again in a different route, it's, that's it, man. It's too late. You had your opportunity. You only get one opportunity, man. I didn't want to use a Moomoo Moo Milk. I wanted to use a Max Repel. Because I'm kind of sick of running into Pokemon now. It's not really worth it anymore. I found a Stardust. Whoa, we got some Stardust, mate! Mate, I'm doing a somewhat British accent. Where am I supposed to go? I don't see the correct... Oh my, is that a cave? Oh my god, that is a cave. How stupid. 
had a derpy ass blonde moment there. I didn't even see that cave. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Check out this rock. Nothing here. Ooh, looks like we're gonna have to fight this grunt unless we can somehow manage to sneak behind his butt. God, your butt is so big, man. We can't even sneak behind that thing. Alright, he probably has gold bats in, in, in Honduras. It's probably not gonna be a big issue, but let's go ahead and fast forward. Damn, that was quick. Um, it's actually good that we caught a couple dark type or psychic type Pokemon because uh, a lot of Team Galactic Grunts carry with them Glammeow, and I think their only weakness is uh, dark or psychic. And uh, I think ground is two times effective on them. So, I mean, we could still manage to get through them with Garchomp by using Earthquake or if we had it Monchan, but I don't think it Monchan knows any of the any ground type moves, so I guess not. That was quick and easy, but unfortunately, Garchomp got poisoned. Let's go ahead and fix him up real quick with some antidotes, which is good because in the previous episode, I bought a lot of stuff. And a part of those stuff was antidotes, so yeah. Oh, we have max revives. Oh, how, how I really want to use these now, but we can't. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what I wanted to do. I think that's it. I don't need to use full restores or anything, because I think we are almost done with this thing. Alright, Mount Cornet, another Galactic Grunt. Alright, man. Let's just get this over with, man. You're wasting my time. Alright, that was easy. Um, I just want to use an elixir. An elixir restores all FP. Alright. Oh god, do I want to use this now or do I want to save it? Because I can't heal. I don't know any places to heal. Not anything. No, no, no places to heal for me. Oh man, this sucks because Jolteon's about to run low on his um, PP. Oh my god, here we are guys. The Spear Pillar. This is where the magic happens. This is this is when the game gets really intense and really fun and really interesting. I've used really like three times there in that last sentence. Now here's the fourth time that I used it. Well, well, who's keeping count? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and heal. Uh, Aragon to full HP. Looks like there's going to be a double battle here. Who do I want to send up front with Aragon? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Barbecue because I have more faith in him than I do the rest. Aragon is good, but let me just show you. I mean, because uh, we could also use him. We could just put these guys up front, you know, like that. That'd be pretty boss. That'd be a pretty tanky team. Let's do that. All right, let's get through this. Our boss is about to do something spectacular. Don't get on our way. Of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down in an epic duel. All right, here we go. Looks like this might be the final time that we're going to face off any Team Galactic grunts. Because this is the time where we show them who's boss and what we're made of. Because we don't back down. We're like a 10 year old boy facing on this army of evil villains. Alright, let's use Dragon Claw there. We'll use Flamethrower here. And let's see, let's let the magic do its work. Let's see what happens. Get that Crow Gunk to go all the way. There we go. That was really easy. Alright, Barbecue, you got this. One hit KO. Let's see if we can get this done in one hit. Oh yeah. We got this. We got this. Shazam. Critical hit. How awesome. That was really easy. You know, I was actually really nervous about this fight. I thought they'd be like really strong and like at least carry six Pokemon with them and they wouldn't carry around duplicates of what they originally had. Like seriously, man. That is the dumbest logic I've ever seen in any Pokemon, well, I mean, it's the same way in every Pokemon game. It's not like they make it different or anything. It's the same old stuff. 
I'd never have two of the same Pokemon on my team unless it was like a full team of legendaries like Mewtwo's. I'd be like, hell yeah. You kill one, bitch, I got five left. But yeah, they, they, these guys aren't smarter. They don't even know what Pokemon are. They just use them as tools, like Cyrus said. Cyrus uses them for their power, and I use them as friends. Actually, I don't use them. We use each other. We, we grow off of each other. We are not capable of slowing you. We will let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. Our bosses? Ooh. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. In the next episode, we are going to go ahead and take on the Spear Pillar. We're going to go ahead and take on Cyrus and see what's going on with this stuff. It's going to be really interesting, so you're going to want to stay tuned. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys then. Peace.